I will talk about two very interesting tricks you can implement into your Fluxbox menu. First thing is within the menu file and it's the function called include. As you can see, I have several menu files. My main menu is the file called menu as normal in Fluxbox. But I also have two files that I will include into the main menu. These files are many new and many new too. And let's see the main menu. It includes the first file and the second one. But remember very important thing. The main menu must have start with begin and finish with end according to Fluxbox syntax, while those included files doesn't have to have this. I even believe if you have it in the included files it may cause some problems, but I haven't tried it. So let's see the included pennies. So it's the first one, ends with a separator, so you will see where the file ends when and where the other one starts. And many new too, like this. So I have binded it to F1 escape. As you can see, here are the first file and here is the second. The other thing is in the file called keys when you where you bind your key bindings. So my keys looks like this. As you can see, F1 escapes summon the root menu, while F2 escapes summon custom menu with the full location. It's very useful because you can have two menus uh, that you can summon at the same time. It all depends which one you want to use. So let's see it. The first menu, escape F1, shows us this menu I have uh, just showed you a while ago. And F2 escape shows us the separate menu not related with the first one. I will also show you the file from this separate menu. It's called menu custom. So as you can see, it's not an included menu, so it must have start and finish. Hope you learned something new. Thanks for watching.